Hey everybody, welcome back to Quality Time. So, in with the news, there actually isn't all that much. I mean, I guess I could do a big roundup of all of the chaos that is still going down on Downing Street. Um, but I'm not strictly speaking a political channel and I will get things wrong, and also you probably don't want to know all of it. You probably have heard all of it already. I mean, I certainly have. Like, oh geez, so much craziness just continues to go on. So, a little bit of more positive news is I have a new toy, and it's this thing. And this is basically just a look, it, it is basically just like a padlock, but key difference is that it is transparent, and there's no way in heck that my camera is gonna actually like focus in on this. So, just enjoy that. And basically, it's it's, it's a training tool for, lo for like, picking locks, and I've wanted to try this out for a while, so I've actually got myself a lock pick kit. So, let me just see if I can actually do this on camera. That is the next question, because I kind of have a thing, I guess. I kind of have a thing of wanting to be a jack of all trades a little bit, and... It would be interesting, I feel, if I had, like, I don't know, a skill tree segment, I guess that's what we could call it, where just, like, every month I have to try and at least get the basics of a specific ability, a specific skill. And this is not necessarily entirely representative because it is dirt easy to unlock. My The actual, like, lock to my office is a lot harder, but I haven't managed to actually unlock that one yet. It's not about the keys, obviously. But yeah, so give myself like a month to learn some kind of new skill, or at least the get, or at least get a decent grounding in it. Obviously, it takes a lot longer to master it. Like, for definitely proving this, I don't consider myself a master lock picker. But it would be interesting to have that kind of segment. So maybe that's something I'll get into more when my finances stabilize a little bit. HMRC still needs to pull the wicket out a bit on that. But uh, other than that, let's go to the schedule. So, as per usual, on Thursday night at 11pm BST over at twitch.tv slash lyingabedmon, we have Midnight Goo, where I'll be playing a little bit more of the campaign, which we are nearing the end of. Then on Friday, we have XCOM 2. No spoilers, but the title of that episode is Frying Pan. Enjoy. On Saturday, we have an undermined shop bill that has been slightly overdue, as well as over at twitch.tv slash thedragonhat from 9pm BST, the next installment of Path of Steel. This will be stream number three on that campaign. Then on Sunday, we have an episode of Edgington where we finally get around to building a devoted storage hall, which is kind of heavily needed because we have so much damn food. And on Tuesday, we have an episode of Dungeon Maker where I require assistance. And we also have from 9pm BST over at twitch.tv slash lyingabedmon, Yoked Wolves Live number 55. We'll be doing a bit more with summoning and such. And then we close out the schedule this week with XCOM 2 on Wednesday. We are taking down another alien facility to try and get the Doom Counter to not be so tremendously terrifying. On to the questions then, this somewhat short vlog. Of course, these questions are drawn from the comments section of the preceding video, so if you happen to have any questions for me, leave them down below, and I'll see if I can get them next week. We actually only have the one question this week. Um, I usually try and make sure it's only one question per person, but, and we only have more or less one person asking a question, so it's one question. So, from TDT Uncaped, are all the universes in the Lying Bus synchronized in time? Yes and no. Um, every universe is happening simultaneously, but they're not necessarily happening at the same point in time. So, for example, Nightlang's universe, Sunless, is pretty much in a medieval era, whereas by comparison, we have Neverlying, who comes from a relatively more modern universe, and all sorts, and... So, consequently, they're not in the same time period. And there are some universes where the physics are a bit messed up, so time accelerates and changes. And you have to remember as well that Red Makers can accelerate time just by all of them sleeping. So, it's a bit wonky, but by and large, they're all happening at the same time. And one specific instance that I can give you for that is Flux Buddies, um, because the Flux Buddies universe is where Yokai Temple and Witch in the Woods happen. Witch in the Woods and Yokai Temple happen simultaneously. Um, in fact, one specific event in Yokai Temple, the World Shift, is linked to a very specific event in Witch in the Woods. But, uh, anyways, with that, I hope you all enjoyed. That's it for this vlog today. And, as always, catch you all next time.